Hey guys, what's going on? Anamir, and today we are playing Elder Scrolls Online again, but this episode I want to make it a little bit of a guide to get a lot of XP and to get a lot of loot that's up to your level. Um, pretty much, this is a very easy little farm area. It's in this desert region, and uh, I don't think there's a way shrine that spawns in this area, so maybe if you can either get a friend who's been here already and if not you can literally make the trip I mean it's gonna be a long trip but I think it's extremely worth it start with this Roy Shrine and Daggerfall and if you're not in Daggerfall Covenant this, Covenant, this is gonna be a little tough <laughs> but just keep on walking all the way down here uh, I think that's how it goes at I think but there may be a boat that comes here I don't know I, I, I'm not in the da uh, Daggerfall Covenant uh, but yeah the only way shrines you need in this area, though, is, uh, actually, yeah, there's a dock right there. Anyway, uh, you need this goat head oasis way shrine. You need one a little bit north from that. And then all the way east, you need one like this. But mostly, we're kind of more concerned with these little, these little star things. Uh, this is for, this is for the dungeon. But, uh, oh, wow, very convenient. Uh, yeah, so we start off in one area. And then, uh, it's either clockwise or counterclockwise. I'll show you what I mean in a minute, but let's get done with this first. As you can see, guys, there's a swarm of people coming in. So, honestly, all you really need to do is get, like, one hit on one person. I think that pretty much guarantees you a chest, but it's nice to just try to rack up experience from these guys, too. Because they, they're gone like flies, man. It's freaking... It's really amazing how fast you can get these things done. Then you're going to have to sprint. You're going to actually try to be fast here. I mean, you can be a little bit late, but just at least be there for most of the uh, little event thing. I don't know what they call it, but yeah. All right, everyone, once you reach this, you're either going to go clockwise or counterclockwise. All right, just kind of the rotation I'm going with. We're going to go with... Let's go clockwise today. Um, it is gonna be a little bit weird if it and if it's not there, go to the next area. I'll I'll show you what I mean if there is no, uh, ring in the sky. I guess. All right. It seems like there is. Yeah. So, like I said, counterclockwise or clockwise, you can pretty much be doing. You can do this for hours. You can do this for a whole day. I usually come here once I get like an experience scroll that like doubles the XP or something. Or if I just need more loot. Like my loot's getting a little outdated for my level. So yeah. No, don't forget to destroy these too. A lot of people forget about that and they will. And they and this will go on for a lot longer than it should. Alright. Well, that's pretty much it. There's really nothing more I really can explain because, like, if you just follow the people around, they will tell you, they, or they will just show you where to go. Like, they'll know where the guy spawns. Like, he's going to spawn over here. He should, at least. I could be wrong. But, yeah, they'll tell you where the chest is, and, yeah. Honestly, this is a great, this is great for new players, people who are under level 50, but, obviously, it attracts people, but more than level 50. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, drop a like if you liked it. Uh, I know a lot of people know about this, but there's a lot of people who don't know about this. So I think it's nice just to inform people. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.